Hi, my name is Dr. Udramon and through the Oral Health Channel today we are going to be talking about osteoradionecrosis. Let's start. So today I'm going to be talking about a debilitating disease that is known as osteoradionecrosis which is actually a side effect of radiation therapy for patients who have undergone radiation therapy for oral cancer. Now as the name suggests it is osteoradionecrosis that means it is radiation induced ischemic necrosis of the bone that means the bone undergoes necrosis as a side effect of the radiation therapy. Now initially it was thought that it was a triad by Mayer by uh, about radiation trauma and infection which was later postulated by Marx in 1983 about the fact that it is a triad of hypoxia that is lack of oxygen, hypocellularity that means the number of cells is reduced and then finally the hypovascularity the number of blood vessels is reduced and because of this nutrition that is created the ischemia that is created the bone undergoes necrosis and that's why it's known as osteoradionecrosis. Now usually it's supposed to happen in the first three years of radiation therapy. However, the incidences have been known to occur about eight, six, even 12 years in some cases. Now what happens in such cases is that the bone goes undergoes necrosis and it leaves a slough. There's something known as sequestration. That means the bone undergoes some sort of reorganization, but that reorganization is not complete and the bone that is formed, uh, the remodeled bone that is formed is not healthy. It is actually decayed or necrosed rather. This can cause a lot of symptoms such as, you know, pain, discomfort, uh, you know, pathological fractures and obviously cosmetic emergencies when people, when the uh, bone uh, of the patients, the people basically it gets exposed through the mucosa. Now, how to, the main thing about this thing is how to treat it. There are two lines of management. One is conservative management where we use medications, antibiotics, analgesics, mouthwashes, even pentoxifilin and tocopherol combinations where we help in making sure that the bone is taken care of. The surgical methods include conservative surgical management that is sequestrectomy. That means the part of the bone that has just decayed, you remove that part, maybe a partial alveolectomy. Uh, a little bit of the bone uh, that is also surrounding the necros bone has to be removed along with hyperbaric oxygen therapy even ultrasound has been known to uh, cause angiogenesis that means the increase in vascularity and helps in the treatment and unfortunately in the most extreme cases you might have to require uh, to you know the whole bone to be resected the biggest challenge is that prevention is the best cure in such a case that you have to be on constant follow-up after your radiation therapy your poor oral hygiene has to be taken care of your oral hygiene has to be immaculate please avoid smoking and alcohol make sure you're taking all your vitamin supplements very regularly and you're going to your uh, dentist regularly and your oncologist very regularly for follow-ups and there have been some uh, you know there have been three theories uh, the first one I've already talked about Mayer, the second one I've already talked about that is Marx and the last one is known as radiation induced fibrotrophic uh, theory where it means that there is remodeling that happens with the help of fibroblasts which is not completely organized and then it leads to necros bone. Now the best thing about this thing is that the incidence is low but for the people who are undergoing this thing it is very harrowing. The most important thing at the end of the day is avoidance of all these poor oral hygiene and bad habits and make sure that you are regularly following up with your dental provider and your oncosurgeon so that you are taken care of and you don't undergo this kind of a disease process. So this was today's episode. Please like, share, subscribe and do press the bell icon button for important updates. If you want to get in touch with me, here are my social media handles. Kindly refrain from calling me directly as I might be busy with patients. Just drop me a message on WhatsApp with your name, your location and the common oral health problem that's causing you discomfort. And if you have any queries, doubts, apprehensions or insights, please feel free to put them in the YouTube comment section. So that's it for today. Thank you.